let's go rob a bank. What's up everyone, my name is Garrett, and today here on Gun Gamers, I have my thoughts on the Spiritus Systems Bank Robber Chest Rig. This is what I would consider a, an ultra-minimalist chest rig. Uh, it's also very budget-friendly, I think. Alright, everyone watching at home, I zoomed in the camera and took the chest rig off, that way I can point out some different details on it and to showcase it a little bit better. So this is the Spiritus Systems Bank Robber. There's really not much to it. It's four elastic cells, uh, areas where you could put mags, radios, smoke grenades, things like that. Um, each one of the cells is closed off at the bottom, so you can't over insert a magazine and it can't drop out the bottom if you run or jump or leap through things or bound over obstacles, what have you. Uh, and then it also has these two little uh, tubes on the side which fit elastic shock cord. They're originally designed for real cat tourniquets or soft tee tourniquets. Uh, I put a Milsom West tourniquet on one and a small Enola Gay smoke grenade on the other. As River City is a good sized field but there are a lot of close areas so I use the small smoke grenade just to hide my position if I was retreating or bounding left and right in front of somebody and that was really handy to have that right there. Uh, the Milsom West tourniquet in Airsoft we heal each other being a relative term when you take a hit you go down. Uh, the Milsom West tourniquet is just kind of a more gives that extra realism, I guess is the appropriate word for it. Uh, the immersions for those that uh, do not necessarily know ab about Airsoft. But uh, this is pretty much the rig. Now each one of these cells, like I said, can fit a variety of different things. You can see I have three AR mags and a radio. Uh, you can also fit a 24 ounce bottle of water without any problems. I managed to fit a uh, an Enola Gay Mil X smoke grenade, which is a very large smoke grenade, fits just fine. It's almost the size of one of the M18 smoke grenades that the US military issues. You can also fit 308 caliber mags in here. I was curious if I could fit my Scar Heavy mags in. And while you definitely can, it stretches the pouch out quite a lot and I felt and I felt that the elastic might give out over time if you kept doing that. These cells are really designed for AR mags. As far as that, that's really it. Like I said, it's a minimalist rig. There's not much going on with it, but it's adaptable for what you need it to. Now, is it going to be useful for a 40 hour long milsim event? Probably not. This is not gonna be enough gear. It's just, it's very simple. It's not designed for something like that. It's designed for something like a bank robbery. You want to get in, get out, couple hours tops before you have to reload everything. Uh, it's, it's not designed for long-term use. Uh, one other problem I have with this rig as well is if you're used to reinserting magazines, like if you do a tactical reload in which when you pull out uh, your magazine it still has ammunition in it before you exchange it for a fresh one, a lot of times you can reinsert that mag in order to keep the useful rounds to use for later. You can't really do that with this rig because as soon as you pull a mag out, the elastic is going to want to collapse. And without using two hands to hold open the cell to reinsert the next mag, it kind of makes it difficult to reinsert. So uh, in that respect, it's not necessarily ideal, but I think that's kind of the beauty of this rig, is it's so simple. Uh, if you watch the movie Heat, they go through magazine after magazine after magazine, not necessarily caring what they're shooting at, just expending rounds to keep heads down. Perfect suppress suppressing fire, or at least. A perfect way to explain how suppressive fire works. You just go through mags uh, and you just drop them off. The mags are expendable because ultimately the folks are trying to get out and get away with the money that they stole. Uh, one other caveat I will also say, Gun Gamers does not recommend actual crime. Please don't, please take this with a grain of salt. It's called the bank robber rig. 
because it's a low profile, super minimalist rig, it's not intended to be used to go rob banks. So don't actually commit crimes with this thing, please. Now, as far as the price is concerned, I purchased this with my own money. Uh, and in that respect, it's very low cost. The rig itself, uh, without any of the straps on it, because Spirit of Systems does things uh, a la carte, you do not necessarily buy a complete package. You piecemeal all the parts together and then order what you want. So the bank robber chest rig is available by itself for $50. Very inexpensive to use, but at the same time, it's also really simple. There's not much going on. There's some elastic that's folded over and sewn together uh, with some shock cord and some buckles. It's not a very expensive rig. Now, at the same time, because stuff's a la carte, if you do not have straps that use one inch buckles, then you're gonna have to buy those as well. Now for me, I have a bunch of stuff in Ranger Green. I do not have stuff in black. And because I kind of wanted everything to match a little bit, I went ahead and purchased Spiritus's skinny straps, which are, uh, you can see it's just one inch webbing. And then their back strap, which goes across the back like most other belly straps from other manufacturers. Like I said, if you have an, an H harness or an X harness from a different manufacturer like Haley Strategic or HSGI or something along those lines, that'll work just fine in this. I kind of purchased the whole package. Uh, the Spiritus System skinny straps in black are $20. They're not that bad. And then the back strap is $10. So for about $80, you've got a complete ultra low profile chest rig. It's not that bad. Now throw in shipping, uh, Spirit of Systems is based in North Carolina. So I had to have it shipped up here to the Northeast, but truthfully shipping wasn't that bad. $100 out the door and this rig was mine. I can't really ask for much more than that, uh, but that's pretty much it. So what do you guys think about the Spirit of Systems bank robber? I'd like to hear it in the comments below, so that way we can discuss about it. I think it's a really neat, ultra low profile uh, pickup game rig, but also if you're into the theme games, it helps uh, to get into the role a little bit for your immersions. Shortly before I put together this video, James over at the Firearm Blog put out a written review on this exact same uh, setup that I have here black bank robber chest rig with the skinny straps and the back strap. Uh, all from Spirit of Systems, of course. Uh, I purchased this with my own money, as James did as well. Uh, but I really appreciated the fact that he made reference to the movie Heat, which stars Al Pacino and Robert De Niro and highlights probably one of the best gunfights in uh, cinema history. Uh, but anyway, I was a little disappointed with James uh, because when he made reference to the movie and then of course subsequently took pictures of himself using the rig, he didn't quite dress the part like a Michael Mann movie would be. There's one thing that I know airsofters can do, it's dress for the part. Anyway, all joking aside, James uh, and the rest of the crew over at the Firearm Blog, uh, really cool guys. Uh, I'd absolutely love to drink with you, James, if I ever get the chance. I'm Dare from Gun Gamers, and this has been my thoughts on the Spirit of Systems bank robber chest rig. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video from Gun Gamers. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Check the description below if you'd like to buy a t-shirt or a patch, and use the coupon code JUDY10 for 10% off of your next order at Amped Airsoft. Thank you again for watching, and praise Judy. Oh crap, I turned the camera on.